All right, we've come now to the last question in this series, which is how do we protect ourselves from coronavirus? So the answer to that question is, is very simple. It, it's two answers. Number one is vaccines. Number two are antivirals. And these work in very different ways to protect ourselves from the virus. The vaccine is something that is injected into us in an effort to stimulate our own immune systems to produce antibodies, proteins like this, which will bind to the spike protein on the surface of the coronavirus and inactivate the virus so that the infection never happens. Okay, that's, that's sort of the very best hope uh, as a way to control this coronavirus pandemic. But what about those people who are, in fact, infected? We need to have something that will stop the infection once it happens. And that's where the second answer here comes into play. And that are, that's the antivirals. Antivirals are small molecule inhibitors of some of the other essential coronavirus proteins that are involved in the replication of the virus. So if you... If you can't mount an immune response to prevent the infection and you become infected, we need to have drugs, medications that we can use to treat people with when they show up at the hospital suffering from coronavirus. Hi there, Mark here, a colleague of Dr. Tim Hermans. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other coronavirus resources available at www.3dmoleculardesigns.com slash scienceofcoronaviruses.htm, including a paper modeling activity where you can create your own physical model of a coronavirus. We hope you enjoy, and thanks.